Hey, what is up YouTube, it's Rich. All right, this is a little surprise video. Honestly, if you would have asked me 30 seconds ago if I was gonna do this, I didn't even know. I was, I was actually, I'm killing time. I have to go somewhere in like 45 minutes. And I'm kind of like in limbo. So anyway, uh, <laughs> I had started this. Uh, a patron um, has taken some inking lessons from me, and I also offer penciling lessons. Um, but uh, anyway, this particular person is doing um, inking, and uh, he's inked a Jim Lee piece and a Mark Silvestri piece, uh, um, and a Jim Lee and a Wolf Sportaccio piece, and he wanted to try something Silvestri. So I found this online. Um, it's a decent um, high-res scan. I printed it out, and I had showed him some techniques, but what I thought I would do... Um, is uh, and that that's not his full lesson. What what we're actually doing, I'll explain it really quick. Is he's going to ink this full piece on his own? And um, what I did is I did a 15 minute demo of some of what I considered uh, the techniques that he would use to try to work through the piece. So once he's done, I'll do actually a 45 minute uh, further demo uh, explaining the techniques. But <clears throat> anyway, I like I said, I'm just trying to kill some time. Uh, I just finished a crazy deadline today. Let me, I'm gonna freshen my ink really fast. Um, but uh, I'm just gonna use the Hunt 102. Or you know, no, no, you know, I wasn't gonna use the Hunt 102. Hold on. We're actually, like, like when, when I started, I'm, I'm all I'm gonna use is a Copic Multiliner. It's a, a 0.1. I wanted to make this as simple as possible for someone that doesn't have tools. That was what the, the idea was. So anyway, look, the reality is, is I bumped the phone. Um, you can get these techniques and looks with any tool. Some tools will lay them down faster. Some will lay them, them down slower. So I could use a, a slightly thicker marker than this and actually sculpt these lines, meaning draw them and flick them and get similar looks. But, but some tools are faster and easier to do it. But um, there's no reason why you can't actually do really, really killer stuff with um, a Copic Multiliner. So... And I'm pretty sure that Mark inks himself with a Copic multiliner. So, um, and he's been getting some pretty gritty inks. But I'll just show you some techniques. This pen is a little, um, I don't know if dry would be the right word. But but it, it definitely, I don't think is as juicy uh, with ink as it could be. But it I've been using it for little tiny faces and stuff like that on my um, pages that I've been inking lately. Because, um... I've got a good nib, a Hunt 102 that I've been using, and um, I uh, <laughs> I don't want to switch it out. And I don't use multiple tools, meaning like, I mean, in theory, I could have like a super, super sharp um, <clears throat> 102 and then a more um, soft one that's been, been used a little bit more. But anyway, I, I'm not a huge fan of doing inking demos on YouTube. Um I just I wanted to do something different on YouTube, and so um, it's just kind of one of those things where I felt that there was other things that I could offer than, and I don't even mean inking demos in general. I'm just talking about art demos in general. Um, it's such a saturated market that um, I, I've always tried to kind of come up with I think different ideas, but at this point, any anything's been done, so I'm open that book and things like Journey of a Thousand Miles. It's not like uh, I was reinventing the wheel, just to be clear. But anyway. But tomorrow I actually have to do um, another lesson for someone. They've actually been really fun for me. Um, I learn a lot doing them. And, uh, yeah, I, I – I, uh, was really cool is um, – I did a penciling one, and I was really happy with what ended up happening, which was it was a kind of a newer penciler, you know, um, and and uh, I was able to teach them how to draw a page with with their their strengths. So it wasn't like me showing them like what um, you know some really good penciler that's been drawing for twenty or thirty years would do, but I was able to take their attempt at a page and and take those elements and resize them place them in different parts of the panels play up the uh, the level of um confidence and and knowledge that they had with perspective and really kind of come up with a formula for them 
that could help them draw a page. And, and it was really like an interesting moment for me that I was able to problem solve that because w- when I was originally going to sort of break this stuff down for them, um, you know, I, I was like, well, if, if I show this person <laughs> things that are beyond them, then then it, it's great that they're learning. I'm, I, it's a large enough black. I'll, I would fill it in later with a different tool. Um, no, no point in uh, sitting there trying to sculpt out these big thick lines. Um, and and uh, yeah, so, you know, I took what they were able to do at the moment and show them how to craft a page with their work. It was really, it really was cool. And uh, all the lessons have been kind of individually I- interesting. And, and uh, hopefully, hopefully the people that took them um, felt that it was it was worthwhile actually having me really kind of take a good look at their work and um, give them some, some insight, you know. Because I, I think that... that um, I've looked at enough good art that I sort of can point out things, you know. And I always say that, like, look, when you have a blank sheet of paper in front of you and you have to create stuff, it, it's, it can be challenging. There's no two ways about it. But I find just kind of going for it seems to work pretty good. But again, I mean, I'm putting right now down some fairly brushy looking lines with with a Copic multiliner. So, and this isn't really like how Mark, I, these aren't the line, the looks that Mark is currently getting on his stuff with the Copic multiliner, but it just shows you how versatile of a tool it is that you can do some different stuff. I would zoom in, but this camera will will fail on me and it'll go out of focus. And I'm, I'm hoping that this is... Uh, in focus now, but at the end I can zoom in and show you what I'm doing. Hopefully I'm in frame, yeah. I shot like a 30 minute video today of me inking um, that I was going to share on Patreon and uh, half the video was out of frame and so I just I just scrapped it. It's kind of funny too because I sometimes wonder what... Um, <laughs> Like one day when I'm gone, like I'll have all these videos and external hard drives with like all this stuff on it. And it's like, there's a lot of stuff that I never post on YouTube that I film. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of funny to think about all that material that like if someone went through it and and they knew my YouTube channel, they'd be like, wait a second. This is, I remember this video, but it's like, this is a different version of it. Um, but generally I'm a one taker. I just I'll, I'll come up with an idea and and film it pretty much right away, um, and I've been doing a little tiny bit of editing, um, but but um, more for um, like dropping audio in because when I do the um, the screen cap uh, videos, they uh, I record the audio on my phone and then I record with a Camtasia recorder on. Um, my uh, computer, but I, I have, um, was it the like streaming? So I don't know. Streaming would be tough though, because if people were asking me questions while I was working, I would get distracted. I am going to use a nib for a little bit now just to speed up. Uh, how long are we in? Eight minutes. I'll go for like two more minutes. Clean off my nib. It's a little. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use some brush. I've been I've been having some pretty good results with brush lately. Let's see. I'm using today a, uh, what is this? This is a Raphael Kolinsky Sable number 38404. That's a decent brush. Um, and this is new ink. I'm using Ultra Draw, but new meaning that um, it's generally I just leave my ink out for like days and I'll just refresh it each morning. But I, because I was on the last page of a deadline and I really wanted to make sure that um, the ink wasn't gunky so I could move through it as fast as possible. Um, I uh, I put fresh ink because this will dry quicker because it's, it's a little more <clears throat> watery, which sounds weird. But what, what I mean is um, older ink will be very black and it'll go down real dark, but it can be gummy. And so what ends up happening is even though it's technically dried, it stays tacky. Um, this is just as wet and will take, 
you know a decent amount of time to dry but it won't be tacky because it doesn't have as much pigment um, in it so it's a little trick that I implemented today just so that I wouldn't have to um, wait longer for um, things to not be tacky because because it can actually take a long time <clears throat> And uh, I, I had mentioned to the, the person that was getting the, the video, I've actually never inked Mark um, in terms of, uh, like, on anything. I won't say too much, but um, there was mild interest in me more recently, but I don't even know. Nothing ever came of it, so I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Um, I don't mean it like that. I mean, it uh, doesn't matter in this video. Sorry. That sounded bad. <laughs> it's like, Rich said it didn't matter. That's not how I meant it. Hopefully everyone's having a good day. I don't really, like I said, I just, I, because I watch so much YouTube, but again, more guitar stuff than, than art stuff, honestly. But, um, yeah, it's just, you know, like everybody ends up doing the same thing. And, and I had said a long, long time ago that like, I wasn't going to be the person that was going to come to YouTube and be like, oh, this is how you draw heads. I want to be like, draw like Jazza. <laughs> Or whatever, or all the gimmicks, like uh, stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, like, uh, I mean, look, uh, there's some some of the fun stuff that people do. I actually definitely want to do it on my channel because it looks fun. I, I like the idea of trying to draw Spider Man in like three seconds or whatever. You know, that's a little extreme, but you know what I'm getting at. Like, like those to me are interesting because it challenges me as an artist. But um, I don't know. Oh, the, the the blue is actually really like blue here. But yeah, you know, you just go in and kind of chip this stuff up. I, I, this is a good example of where older ink would actually be a little bit more beneficial, because um, it would, it would hold this stuff down a little more. I grabbed more ink and kind of really got my brush wet here. But oh, it's funny too. This guy probably won't, probably doesn't follow my channel. I'll say this, but this, this kind of cracked me up. Is uh, some, <laughs> some guy commented on my the VZA video that they posted up. He's like. Like, who would get Jim Lee to draw such a stupid character, Jin Erso, Star Wars, crap, wasting Jim Lee's time? And then he realized that I wasn't Jim Lee, and he goes, uh, oh, and this guy's like a wannabe Jim Lee. <laughs> I'm thinking, like, dude, I, I love Jim's art, but, but one thing that I will say that I've never, ever, I've never attempted to draw like Jim, um... <laughs> I think he's really, really good, but yeah, it was it was kind of funny. I was like, wow, I don't know. I, I, if it, he must see Travis in my work and think that that it's Jim. I don't even know. I mean, like obviously there's a line there, a connection, but yeah, that was really, really funny. But I, I it was more um, uh, uh, made me laugh than uh, upset me. <laughs> Honestly, like it's like whatever, dude. Your inter internet muscles are strong. But if you can't tell that it wasn't a Jim Lee drawing, you're kind of, like, pretty clueless. I want to make this hair a little weird. Um, the way Mark drew it with these kind of crunchy lines looks sort of cool. So I want to kind of keep that, like, sort of weird look where it's not... Like, it's got, like, a bit of a disturbing quality. Like, he's... I don't know <laughs> how to describe it, but it's like all these little... It's on it. Oh, the cat wants in. Oh, yeah, well, that was a Patreon video. I was going to say, she was actually in a video that I shot just, I think it was yesterday. I don't even remember anymore. Um, but uh, she was talking to me, and I, like, turned the camera on her.
I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to process this video and get it up for you all. And, uh, yeah, this was, in a weird way, sort of a request. Someone uh, a, a couple of days ago in one of my videos was like, post five minutes of you inking. So you got 15 out of me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I'll talk to y'all later. Smash the like and share this. You know what's good for you. Generoso is coming for you. No, I'm just kidding. All right, later. Bye.